Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Are you ready to make mushroom risotto? Kaise hain aap log? What's the time, Sonia? Today, aaj camera mein, uh, Sonia is back, meri baby, because now we are back in lockdown, almost lockdown. Uh, schools and colleges are closed, restaurants are closed, we are back in the house. We have restrictions lagai because Corona ke numbers are zyada ho gaye. Across the globe, magar Michigan mein especially, it's like much worse than it was March, April mein. So we're going to like hunker down a few weeks, cook eat, just spend time with the family. I hope you guys are doing the same, yeah? And mask up. So, are we ready, Sunny? Do we have enough people? Like a hundred people. Okay, perfect, perfect. So, today we are an Italian dish. Se. It is like, um, I don't know, I think I like Italian recipes and I convert them so that easy be ho our desi taste for compliment. Bhi kare. So, I hope you like this recipe. It's, um, it's mushroom risotto. So risotto, kya hai? risotto is actually an Italian rice. It's flat. It's like that. So northern Italy, mein ye chawal hai. So when you think about it, chawal, gemu, you know, pure world mein jo bhi grains hai, we have all learned to cook it our own way, add our own local flavors and taste to it. So, so we are going to make literally Italian rice today. Okay, so this is arborito rice um, it's flat but starchy hota hai. so when we cook it it'll become creamy soft um, and very it has its distinct flavor or agar aapko ye chawal nahi mile right because it's an italian rice and uh, it is covid times but these are the options hamara good old basmati chawal that's a really good option in fact I think it is healthier because its glycemic index is lower. But its starch is less as compared to the arborito rice. So you have to add some cream dalna padega, you know, just to make it that fluid consistency. So yes, we have... If it's not Italian chawal, then our desi basmati works just as good. Or another option is jasmine rice. So I like jasmine rice because it's into grain story. Like, you know, thicker, softer, and you can actually control the size of it when it's cooked. Um, again, you may have to use a little bit more milk or cream to it. So other than that, we are good. Any of these rices, but I'm going to use the arboreto, um, which is an Italian rice, to make our mushroom, mushroom risotto. So mushrooms, you can use any mushroom, whatever you have available. I'm using the shiitake mushroom. See, look at that. It's so cool. Uh, I'm going to be using them. I have um, clean and slice them. I'll come, come back to that. But before we move on, I wanted to show you. Like, people are confused about the mushrooms. Ko saaf kaise karte ho. So, the best way is I have a little moist kiya hua hai, and you just rub it. Rub it clean. Like that. Because when you, if you want your mushrooms to be nice and crisp, they have to be dry. And once you wash them, pani ke andar, They'll never be dry, so they'll have. It'll still taste good, but it'll be a little, um, you know, a little moist. So it's good dry. Definitely, you just wipe it off, and then you pinch the stem off, right? So then it is ready for us to slice. And I see how soft and um, literally, is, uh, I if I have to describe this feeling, it's a, it's almost a fleshy feeling. It's it's a very good substitute if you're vegetarian or meat ni khana chahte and your and your recipe. As for me, this is a great substitute. So okay, so first I'm gonna turn my burner on. So now you wanna come this side? We just go over the ingredients. So today for amul we're gonna use amul ghee, oi oi oi, and amul butter. And a mole fresh cream. This is about one fourth cup. I have recipe description mein dal diya hai. Louder. 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 Um, I have description mein dal diya hai. So, you know. So, I have recipe mein one cup. Likha hai. This is about half a cup. Because that's going to be enough for us. So, we have the rice. Chopped garlic. I will it. Chopped garlic. Chopped onions. Sliced mushrooms. Um, and of course, our fresh cream. And this grated 
parmesan cheese hai. yeah grated cheese and i have vegetable broth so aap koi bhi vegetable broth use kar sakte you know this is the onion carrot mushroom celery uh, vegetable broth but you can use any of that you can just use mushroom broth thoda thode mushroom pan mein wal do and uh, reduce it so you know you have the flavor uh, but any broth is fine i have some parsley jo maine garnish ke liye rakhe hain and arugula when we finish i'll come to i'll come to that theek hai other than that i think we have it all so first i'm going to put this broth in my pot aur isko hum एक उबाल लाएंगे मिक्स दिस दैट वाज टू कप फॉर माय हाफ कप राइस एंड आई एम गोना पुट अनदर हाफ अ कप ऑफ वाटर एंड इसको उबाल आने के बाद हम सिमर पे रखेंगे सो द गोल इज टू कीप दिस ब्रॉथ रियली हॉट तो जब हम रिजोटो और चावल में उसे मिलाएंगे तो इट विल कुक नॉट स्टॉप कुकिंग आप ठंडा ब्रॉथ डालेंगे तो वो कुक होगा बंद हो जाएगा कुक So we have to keep it hot. So the process of cooking continues. So while that boils, I'm going to get to my mushrooms. How is everyone doing? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. All right. ठीक है. So um, so take a pan and put a little bit of ghee. I like to use the ghee because it gives it that nutty flavor. Uh, it just makes uh, everything so much richer. I I, I like it. So, ये जो हमने about तीन चार cloves of garlic में से एक चम्मच मैंने इसमें डाल दिया. Saute it for just a minute or two. This is a very easy recipe. Okay, and आप I always modify any recipe to my taste, my family's taste. तो आप इसमें एट दिस पॉइंट मैंने अपने मशरूम्स डाल दिए सारे एंड आई वॉन्ट जस्ट सॉटे रेगुलर मशरू इटालियन रेसिपी डजन कॉल फॉर इट मगर आपको अगर चाहिए तो थोड़ा सा लाल मिर्च काली मिर्च वट एवर यू लाइक इस पर आप डाल दीजिए My um, my stove is hot. So I put on my pan. Okay, so this is a good time to put um, some salt, just a little. And this is my home ground black pepper. So I kali mirch ko thoda sa roast karke na I I grind it myself, so that thode so I get the consistency that I like. That's it. It's fresh ground pepper, salt. the mushroom till it becomes a little soft a little crisp it's smoky there you go see how you know i wish you guys could smell this earthy earthy uh, smell in the kitchen It smells so good, and the garlic um, is blending really well with the shiitake mushroom. And if you were to just eat this, it's great. Up salad pe dal lije, roti me roll kar lije. It's just it's just perfect as it is. Now we just need our broth boiling water. So I'm gonna let it cook a couple more minutes. Literally, this is done. Oh, I should have put these also in. Maybe later. This is lovely. Now I'm going to close this and I'm going to just set it aside. We don't need this. We don't need this now. See how lovely it looks. It's ready to eat. Okay, two minutes left, right? Okay, my broth is going to come to a boil. I'm going to bring my pan, and we're going to start with the risotto. So, isn't it crazy how, जैसे हम लोग सब लोग different तरीके से अपने वो ही चावल, दाल, grains पकाते हैं, 
Oh, another option for risotto. If you don't have to use chawal in your low uh, kyal um, diet, quinoa. Quinoa is a very good option. Aap similar, same way mein aap pakayenge, magar, um, you'll use quinoa. So that is a good source of protein, very less starch, very less carbs. It's a good option. So these are your options. Are you ready? Okay. So another chamach. I'm going to use ghee. I think it just is so divine. Pura sa is me. I'm just going to add some butter. So by the way, uh, here for uh, America, my fall Thanksgiving hai. So Thanksgiving is a American holiday, jo about 300 or 400 years ago. You know, when the when the new people came into America and they became friends with the Native Americans, they started this tradition where they would get together and eat dinner together, right? So this has become an American tradition. Achhi baat ye hai ki sab kuch chutti hoti hai. The kids come home like they have. So that's what we are doing tomorrow. Okay, so we're going to put the rest of our garlic. Sorry. Any questions for me so far? Everyone's doing well. Yara Bajra India, right? This is going to be our lunch. So, all right. Now, the chopped onions. Italian cooking maybe like garlic, onion, tomato, you know, it's all basically just like how we cook. And maybe that's why we like it. It's so close to like, our comfort food. So it's not heat say pakali ji so that it becomes soft. It doesn't have to become brown. It's not broth boiling. It's coming to a boil. It's not only simmer for us. Yeah, so everyone's home. My husband, my both my girls. So this is a good festive atmosphere. Kal hum bahut khana banayenge. We make the pumpkin pie and um, and many other things. <laughs> I'll post a picture. Please follow me on Instagram, Smita's Urban Kitchen, um, for glimpses of you know all my different recipes, my life, my thoughts. So so I would love love to know you guys better too. So please follow me. All right. How does that look? The onions are coming along very well. It's almost musical. See the stirring. So the, the key to making um, creamy risotto is to keep stirring. You stir karte rana. You have to multitask and keep stirring because when you stir it, the starch from the rice keeps coming out very smoothly and makes it creamy and smooth. Okay, I think this is a good time. I'm going to add my rice. Again, I'm using only half cup right now because um, we don't need more than that. Now we will toast it. Someone asked when you're cleaning the mushrooms, do you need to remove the outer skin? No, no, no. no. Just take, either take a soft brush or I have used the kapra and I have just made it wet. And with a firm hand, just, just wipe it. Wipe it clean. All right, I'm gonna toast it because the more you toast it, the more flavor, the nutty flavor comes out and also it cooks faster. All right, while this is toasting, I have not brought any liquid. See the broth is like steaming hot and another key to making the risotto is to put small amounts of the broth and you have to keep stirring, stir, stir, stir to take it in. Do you have a YouTube channel? Yes, Smitha's Urban Kitchen. Um, so I have YouTube and the Instagram and Facebook but I am on TikTok now. A very, very new. Ek hafte, ek hafte pali I started with. But I'm enjoying TikTok. See you. Pour the hot broth in, little bit at a time, and then you have to stir. You have to stir and you have to keep this mixture hot. So while you stir, 
is when all the starch and the creaminess and the and the flavor of the rice comes out. तो आप उसको ना मिलाते घुमाते रहिए अपना चम्मच करछी करछी है ना ठीक है and when this water uh, the broth is all soaked up they're going to add more to ye broth ko garam hona bahut zaruri hai because agar wo thanda ho jayega to um, pakega nahi it will kind of slow the cooking process it smells good i wish you guys could smell it aap bhi banayenge tag me okay please tag me because i love to see keep log um, मेरे रेसिपीज यूज कर रहे हैं एंजॉय कर रहे हैं नहीं तो फायदा क्या है राइट ऑफ ऑफ कुकिंग एंड शेयरिंग द रेसिपी यू वांट टू सी हाउ यू यूज इट यू आर वेरी लेस मनल एंड यू शो इट देन यू गो यू कीप स्टोरिंग स्टोर 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 यू विल जस्ट इंक्रीज द हीट अ लिटिल सो या सो वी दिवाली हो गया टुमारो इज थैंक्सगिविंग then christmas and new years hopefully we'll say goodbye to 2020 um main goal is to be healthy this year okay people wash your hands mask up eat healthy rest a lot okay time to put more broth so ye jo chawal hai abhi dheere dheere pak raha hai and and the starch from the um chawal is coming out very very well So see, so this is different, right? जैसे इटली में लोग धीरे धीरे अपना ब्रॉड डालते हैं उसको पकाते हैं हम उसको धो के पानी डाल देते हैं डिफरेंट रिजल्ट जब हम पुलाव बनाते हैं या चावल बनाते हैं वी वॉन्ट आर ग्रेन टू बी लॉन्ग एंड सेपरेट एंड ब्यूटिफुल एंड दे लाइक ए क्रीमी सो दैट्स द डिफरेंट सो रिजोटो इज सर्व इन वेरी वेरी Um, nice upscale restaurants. Um, if you see like a resort on the menu, then you know it's a it's a good restaurant. So you guys are learning a good skill today. So what's in the broth? Uh, this is a vegetable broth. So made with onion, celery, um, carrots, garlic. Un unko baal do in lots of water for thirty forty minutes and then drain all the. Um, All the vegetables out, and you have your vegetable stock. You could add some mushrooms in this, just because you're making mushroom risotto. It's up to you. Just a little bit of flavored. See how it, and it's getting stickier. I'm just gonna pour a little bit more. So the thing about making risotto is just this. Ki um it's time consuming ki aap lage hain you know you cannot leave the pot and you have to keep putting little bit keep stirring so it becomes creamy so that is the that is a catch to it ki you are kind of attached to your stove 15-20 minute ke liye i like the color and i like the the flavor and see the grains are kind of becoming thicker and letting out this nice starch so risotto is supposed to be creamy it's supposed to be fluid jaise aap pan se nikal ke bowl mein dalenge plate mein serve karenge it has to be fluid uh, not not lumpy or clumpy theek hai agar aap clumpy kisi ne aapko risotto diya to fir not made right it has to be fluid So yeah, the process keeps going and going till all our broth has been used. And also the grain, जैसे हम चावल like जैसे जायदून rice बनाते हैं, it becomes very soft. But Italian pasta हो या rice, it is al dente. Al dente is like you know जब खा रहे हो तो there is a bite to it. Like just a, it's not completely soft. And apparently, um, जो glycemic index होता है, like when you keep things al dente yani a little bite to it then the digestion is a different process so then we wonder are it is not carb khate hain itna hi khate hain jodi aise dikhte that's because they eat it and cook it the right way there you go coming along well 
I think my kids are eating for their risotto lunch. So yeah, what would you serve with it, right? So, so usually risotto is complete by itself with the vegetables. People put peas in it also. So if I put mushroom, I can put peas also. But what is really good with it is something crunchy. Just say, you know what, wo amulti, dahi kebab. I think I have it in the freezer, I didn't pull it out. But I would make that and serve it on the side. Just something crunchy. Ya fir, uh, just ek vegetable cutlet truck diya. Ya, agar aap non-wish khati hai, you can make any grilled something with it. It just adds to it. Okay, we are almost there guys, almost there. So that's the thing about it. You don't have to have patience. You have to love what you're making. And keep going. It smells good and you know I like the way it's all coming together. So yeah, you could use uh, the basmati chawal. So at this point, the basmati chawal, if we had used the basmati chawal instead of the arboreto, it would probably be slightly drier. So you would have to put more broth, more cream. Okay, I'm going to finish my broth. Perfect. Okay, this will be a good time to add some seasoning, right? So, some salt, aapke taste ke um, some pepper. All right. And then, I'm gonna slowly add my cream. It smells good. It smells so good. Right, so just going to add my cream. So yeah, you can add any of your any vegetables to this. Just make it your way. Change it to how you like it. So I just have to wait for the rice to absorb all this moisture and release all the starch. Do you want to give a very short recap of the rice and the broth yes. and the mushrooms? So we used um, shiitake mushrooms, which looked like that. We cleaned it, took off the stem and sliced them thin, just like so. <laughs> I just lost a piece um, and then, you know, to make risotto, I'm using the Italian arborito uh, rice, which is an Italian rice, flat, short grain, very starchy. Um, and that's what gives the risotto the creaminess. We are almost coming to an end. If you don't have the arborito rice, use your basmati or jasmine rice, but you'll have to use more cream. Abhi many about um, uh, one fourth cup cream dala hai, you may have to use a little bit more. Okay, now, now it's coming to coming together. It looks looks really great. So I have just salt and black pepper in it, and I'm going to use Parmesan cheese, grated Parmigiano. There you go. Oh, that was a big lump. So that's going to make it salty, nutty, very very rich. Abhi main isko band kar Nito, bahut bahut dry ho jayega. Then I'll have to put more cream in. This is a perfect, perfect consistency. How are we doing with time, guys? Not bad, not bad. So, so if you were to touch the grain, it is soft, but it still has a, a bite to it. Like a, it's not mushy. <laughs> Keep it like that, and then the mushrooms. Mushrooms which we had sauteed with garlic. I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna just keep a few for garnish. But mix it in. 
you know, to ye mushroom ka jo earthy, earthy flavor is kind of mixing into the cream and the starch of the risotto. It looks, it looks so good. All right, I'm gonna plate this now. It's ready. So you can just take the bowl. So see, the risotto has to actually fall into. <laughs> One second, huh? made a pan now. Put a party here. Sit there. Now I got it. It has to fall into your plate. Like so. So it's creamy. And then these extra mushrooms, I'm just gonna. All right. Now we come to the arugula. So arugula is like um, it's a green. It's got a bite to it, like a like a peppery peppery taste. Um, so just because this is so mild and creamy i like to add just a few just a few uh leaves of arugula right on top uh, because they're not so coarsely just snap it and then add beautiful you have an option of parsley too it's up to you you could add some more butter or Parmesan cheese, fresh Parmesan cheese, just grated on top. So now you feel like you're in a really fancy restaurant. Restaurant in New York. I don't know. We to back to imagine it. Can't go there. Can't even go there. So that's it. So you are gonna bring Italy home, just like that. Yeah. I hope you like the recipe. Please follow me on Instagram, Smitha's Urban Kitchen, uh, on YouTube or Facebook. Join our group. It's called For the Love of Food. Join us so you can see all other recipes, all the great chefs from all over. Japanese recipe share karte hain. And please make this. Tag me. And goodbye. Here, I'm going to put it right there. That's my Italian setting. All right. Ciao. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Take care and be good.